in this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase, spread the word. Now, this is something we tell people when we want them to tell other people about something. Every year, the farmer's market opens at the beginning of June and we tell people, spread the word. The first day of the market is June 2nd or something like that. Spread the word. This means that we want people to tell other people that the market is starting. I recently started uploading English lessons to a website called Billy Billy in China. And in the comments, I keep telling people to spread the word so that everyone in China will know that they can watch my videos on my channel instead of all the other channels where my videos happen to be. It's always uh, an interesting thing when I see that. The other phrase I wanted to teach you today is the phrase spread out. When you tell someone, a group of people to spread out, it means they're all standing really close together and you want them to stand further apart. I do remember my phys ed teacher, my physical education teacher saying this a lot in phys ed class at the beginning. Uh, he would say spread out uh, and then we would all stand, I think arm lengths apart for our warm up exercises. I don't really remember what those exercises were. Anyways, when you tell someone or a group of people to spread the word, you want them to tell everyone they know about something important. When you tell a bunch of people to spread out, it means you want them to stand far from the people around them. Uh, by the way, you can also use this verb for other things. You can uh, spread things out on your table when you get home from grocery shopping to see what you've bought. And there's other uses as well. But hey, let's look at a comment from a previous video. This comment is from Claudia. And the comment says, uh, you can tell I printed this at school again. It's on a gigantic piece of paper. Every morning, we have the most beautiful class where we can better ourselves, learning English and enjoying amazing landscapes. Thank you a lot, Teacher Bob. It makes my day. And my response, you're very welcome, Claudia. So yes, amazing landscapes sometimes, but sometimes I'm just standing in front of a place like this, where uh, I'll show you in a sec what they do here. I have to look both ways before I cross the railroad tracks, though. Um, there's usually never any trains coming. Um, railroad tracks in this town aren't used very often anymore. But you can see behind me that they have lots of wood and lumber here, but it's all put together into what are called trusses. When they build houses in Canada, when they build the roof, they put trusses on. So a truss is an engineered um, product that they stand every 24 inches apart or every 16 inches apart. Uh, and then it makes a really, really strong roof. So this is uh, actually a place where they make trusses. My uncle actually used to work there. He was really good. Um, he ran the whole truss making division. He was really good at getting people to be very efficient. Um, I'm not sure if he was a good boss. He was certainly an effective boss, but he could get people to make trusses really fast and he could get them to do a really, really good job as well. I think usually what he did is to have each um, area that was making trusses compete with each other to see who could build the best trusses and who could build those trusses the fastest. Anyways, once again, I'm on the train tracks. I'll just show you again that I'm not in danger here. You can see that there are no trains visible at all. Anyways, thanks for watching this short English lesson. Um, I'm actually still in town and it's evening. It's Wednesday evening, um, but I'm just making this quick before I go back to work. I have to uh, be at school at night tonight for a little uh, open house, I guess you would call it. Um, I'm excited. I know it doesn't sound like I'm excited, but parents and students come at night and there's a barbecue in it and it should be a lot of fun. The food's free. Anyway, see you in a couple days with another short English lesson. Bye.